Well, look who's here. I love welcoming new guests. Please come in. My name is Julia Tyler. It's so very nice to meet you. You are just in time for tea. I do suppose you know that I was married to President John Tyler. I just adored acting as hostess to such a grand house. Now since you've had some time, I'll talk to you a little bit about my life so far. I was born Julia Gardner on May 4th, 1820 in Gardner's Island, New York. My mother, Juliana McLaughlin Gardner, was known as one of the wealthiest women in New York, and my father was a lawyer and property manager. Since my family was well off, I went to a boarding school just for girls where I learned ancient history, music, French literature, and math. After I completed my formal education, I went back home in East Hampton, New York. Then I found time for two of my favorite interests, singing and playing the guitar. Since I was and still am a flirtatious woman, I once secretly posed for an advertisement for a clothing store. As you can imagine, it was very humiliating for my family to see their daughter pose. My name was never revealed in the advertisement, yet my parents knew that the model was me, <laughs> even though I was given the name The Rose of Long Island. Interestingly, this small advertisement was in fact the first one ever in New York to include a woman in it. Anyway, my family soon shipped me over to Europe to let the scandal lose popularity, although later I made my way back to Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. That's when I met President John Tyler. Since members of my family were very well known, they were invited to the White House as guests on January 20th, 1842. My family got to know John's two eldest sons quite well, and it wasn't long before we were included in the family circle which was and still is such an honor. <laughs> then the first lady, Letitia Tyler, died that same year in September after having a stroke. Well, John proposed to me five months later on February 22nd, 1843 at a White House masquerade birthday ball. I initially declined his offer and continued to do so then we started to appear in public together and talked openly about our relationship as it was just a matter of time. Everything seemed to be going very well. However, a horrible thing then happened not only to me but to John as well. On February 22, 1844, my sister, father, and I went on a cruise on a naval ship named the Princeton with President Tyler and his cabinet. Six days later, one of the ship's cannons called the Peacemaker exploded. It killed many members of the President's cabinet and others, yet what made me particularly upset was that my own father died. Less than a week later, on March 2nd, all who died were given funerals in the Capitol in Washington, D.C. Even though I had a hard time with the loss of my father, I was eventually very happy to get married to President John Tyler on June 26, 1844. There were only 12 guests at our wedding. We had breakfast at my home, and then we all went on a ferry boat ride in Jersey City. From there, we took a train ride to Philadelphia, where John and I were greeted warmly by many people. Then we traveled to Baltimore, and I soon became the talk of both towns. What? A memorable honeymoon we had. I have seven wonderful children, five boys, two girls. One of my daughters was born Christmas Day in 1849. In fact, I just gave birth to my second daughter, Pearl, a week ago. Oh, I just love being a wife and mother and hostess too. Oh, what fun. Well, it's supper time for the Tyler family. Thank you so much for visit visiting. I really enjoyed your company. Goodbye now.